focus okay sweet what is good youtube my name is cj this is cj knows tech where i like to talk about tech sneakers and anything creative today what we're going to talk about is the sony a7 III before you buy now i'm going to just open up like this is like an open discussion about some things that i think uh you might want to consider and think about before buying this beast of a camera the sony a7 III is a beast period sony is like smashing the game this entry level basic full frame camera that does it, it does it all, all right? I mean, you got the autofocus system of the A9, you got this nice, beautiful 24 megapixel sensor, full frame sensor, you know what I'm saying? And it's backlit, low light, beast, Ah, uh, the list goes on. But let's just talk about some of the things you might wanna consider before buying the Sony a7 III. That's what I wanna get into, because I like being honest, I like being real. Right now, I'm filming on the Sony a7 III with the uh, Sony 85 millimeter f1.8, butter, 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 fast lens. Oh, I love fast apertures, I'm sorry. That, that's just what I like to do, depth of field, all that good stuff, you know what I mean? All right, let's talk about the things you want to consider. The first thing I want to bring up before you buy a Sony a7 III, you got to realize this is a full frame camera. Full frame camera equals full frame cost, full frame coin. Yo, this joint is about to cost you. The body, the price that Sony has, it's amazing. This is a great price. But on the flip side to that, full frame lenses. Now, the full frame lens lineup, it's not too crazy. It's getting so much better, but the, the caveat to it is it costs. Like the G Master lenses, which are the more ideal lenses you want to use with a Sony full frame, the ones that they're bringing out lately, the ones that got the nice, you know, F2.8, 16, and 35, and so forth, they cost like big money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you got to keep that in mind. Now, there are some budget full frame lenses. I'm going to do a video on that. That'll probably be the next vid. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to point out some good budget lenses you can grab. You know what I mean? Hint, hint, I'm using one right now and it is amazing. So you gotta think about that. Full frame and the full frame cost. You're stepping up to the big boys. Now look, you can use APS-C lenses with it. It's gonna crop in on the sensor, the APS-C mode, but you gotta remember you're introducing noise and you're kind of diminishing the quality a little bit. You know, you're not using a full <laughs> sensor. So at the end of the day, you can still use your crop uh, lenses. I still have two that I love. My Sigma 18-35, my Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4. These are beautiful lenses and Sigma is coming out soon with full frame native lenses for Sony. They're dropping out all throughout this year. But remember, like I said, they're gonna cost. They're not the cheapest lenses at all. They're the art lens line, which are the best lenses that you wanna grab from Sigma. So I highly recommend grabbing Sigma art lenses. They are amazing. But even the ones that weren't art lenses, like the 30 millimeter F1.4, amazing. Great price, great budget, but that's the APS-C line. We on full frame now, so. <laughs> Get your bread up. So that's something you want to consider. Look at the lenses, look at the pricing, uh, plot your game out, see what lenses you can afford and so forth. And like I said, hint, hint, I got a video coming. I'm gonna talk about the budget lenses that you should grab with the a7 III that should work amazing. There's some that I'm trying to shop around and see if I can pick up a couple others. I already pulled the trigger on this one right here. Amazing. Something you want to consider, which is something you already know, I know, but I'm gonna bring this up because uh, you got to think about the options that you have. There's no flip out screen, meaning you won't be able to see yourself when you're recording if you're using just the camera alone and say like the Rode Video Mic Pro and so forth, or if you're in the vlogging situation. Now, there are ways around that. External monitors, a lot of cool ones out there, like the small HD Focus, which is like a five inch, super popular monitor, which I think is an amazing monitor. I have yet to grab it and pick it up. You know what I mean? Small HD, if you watch it, yo, holla at your boy. There's also was an announcement from Atomos for this Ninja V, which is Ninja 5 inch, for five inch. They're dropping a five inch now. The Atomos uh, external monitors are different because they are recorders. You hook up an SSD to them and they record your footage directly. So that's on a whole nother level. But that right there, I'm looking forward to that Atomos Ninja V. Yo, Adam Osh, you watching this video, <laughs> holla at your boy. But at the end of the day, what I use to help me uh, in this situation of not being able to see myself, I use the Aperture VS2 Fine HD, which is a great monitor. It's able to accept the 4K signal. Um, I think this is a seven inch monitor. So it's a nice size now. You can't get portable with this thing. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, you can, you know what I mean? Depending on how cock diesel you are and so forth. And, oh yeah, another thing I want to say, man, uh, don't be out here trying to mess with these vloggers because holding a, um, a gorilla pod and a camera with a lens, 
that, that's a lot of that's a lot of weight. That's a lot of work. You know what I mean? I I had my sixty three hundred with the kit lens in my arm. Was like, oh, hold up. So uh, watch they vlogging on them if you try to swing with them because they gonna knock. Yo, I'm not playing. Is my hat falling or something? I shouldn't. Have. <laughs> you, you know, I, I, my hair. Not, you know. Anyways, so you got to really think about how are you gonna go about getting around the screen not flipping out. I highly recommend external monitor. This one's a great one, the Aperture VS2 Fine HD. It's a great budget one. It'll get you in the game. It'll get you started. Like I can see myself. I can see what's in focus. It got focus peaking, histograms, and all that other stuff. Even um, what do you call that? Uh, I forgot the color thing or whatever. Anyways, it has all of those features. Check it out. I got I did a video on it way back. You know, my quality is now a lot better. You know, what I mean? maybe I'll do a revisit of that. But I do want to check out like small HDs, the small HD focus monitor, but I'm really excited about the Atomos Ninja V. So that's gonna be dropping uh not too long from now. Uh so uh, you know, a video might be on that. No flip out screen. Think about your game plan. If you are like me, who's a one man show and you need to record yourself, I highly recommend external monitor. There's some great budget ones like the Aperture VS2 Fine HD. I know, I'm pushing it, I'm sorry. Yo, link in the description, supports the channel. Get it from your boy. <laughs> so with us talking about the flip out screen, the next thing I wanna point out is the, uh, say if you wanna vlog with the a7 III, like you gotta think about the, Number one, you're not gonna have a flip out screen, okay? So a way to combat that is to get a really wide angle lens and uh, put it at a decent you know, aperture so that all things are in focus. So you don't really have to worry so much and you can kind of shoot blind and yet still be in focus because the autofocus system on a7 III is great. It's like, it pretty much covers the full sensor and so forth. Um, so you gotta get to know Sony's autofocus system and understand what can trigger it and how to set it up. There's a lot of settings that affect this, but then also with that being said, when I spoke about you need a wide angle lens, remember I was talking earlier about the full frame lens cost. There aren't that many wide angle lens options, especially not on the budget side. So, uh, you know, probably the most ideal one would probably be the G, G Master 1635. There's also like the Zeiss 1635, but that's an F4 constant. And if you're vlogging, you're probably gonna go from ideal lighting situations to low light situations so the g master with the f 2.8 is probably most ideal lens in that cost also there's the uh i think there's a 20 is it a 28 millimeter f2 or something like that and that's more on the budget side and i've been doing some research and watching reviews on that and that's one of the ones i'm kind of questioning if i want to try that now that focal length it's not really the most ideal focal length for vlogging. To me, like the 16 millimeters, that area is like ideal. So like the 16 to 35s, those two lenses, the ones are F4 and then you got one that's the F2.8. I love fast lenses, so you already know what I would prefer, but that comes at a price. And I'm not sure if I wanna uh, make that leap of faith as of yet, but I do wanna get into more like, not per se vlogging, but I like vlogging elements added to my videos. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to ease a little. What? I'm trying to do something a little different. What are you talking about, man? Anyways, now something else to point out of all these things to think about before you buy a Sony a7 III, especially for video. My video people, you have a 30 minute record limit. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Now, on the Sony a6300, there's ways around that, you know what I mean? Because the Play Memories app and the Play Memories hack, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I wish we had one of those for the a7 III because the 30 minute record limit is So I kind of wish we had the same option of a hack on the a7 III because the 30 minute record limit can be limiting uh, depending on what kind of situation and how you're recording. So I sit here and I run my mouth for 35, 45 minutes plus, depending on the video, depending on the content, depending on how many points I have to touch on. So uh, 30 minutes could be a little slim for me, but I'm getting better and better to where I'm able to hit and knock my video down in lesser amount of time. So that's something you wanna think about. There's a 30 minute limit on video recording, as well as there's no play memories app. That's my next thing I wanna talk about. No play memories, meaning uh, no hack. Sony, it's about time you uh, release a firmware update, especially to us US folks, and free us of the 30 minute time limit. Damn it. <laughs> 
but that's something you want to consider just make sure if you're shooting and you are running longer than that on the 30 minute record that you're aware of it you know maybe have some kind of like timer or something that you can see visually so you can see and just keep an eye on your time man, and make sure you uh yeah you're keeping up with the 30 minute time limit. yeah and here's my final point I'm going to touch into. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to make this video too long. I'm not going to go too lengthy. Uh, there's other things you could uh, ramble on about and so forth. But these are some of the kind of points I just wanted to point out. They kind of pertain to me. And these are some of the things I thought about before buying the Sony a7 III. And this is the final thing I just want to point out. This is just my, uh... okay, let's get straight to the point. Buying this camera won't make you any better. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, now, now your, your footage is gonna look better, <laughs> but your content won't be any better. So if you're thinking, I gotta go and get this a7 III because it's going to allow me to create better content, I would say no. <laughs> but what it will do is, it may give you inspiration to go out and try and, and create better content. It might put that battery in your back that you needed to get you uh, motivated and grooving. It, it might inspire you. So, I mean, you know, sometimes when people get new things, exciting things, the excitement, they can feed off of that and they can grind. But that high only lasts for so long and your grind has to last longer and outlast that. So your grind has to outlast the high. and You gotta be serious, you gotta be motivated, you gotta be dedicated, because it's a lot of work, it's a lot of time. It's very consuming, but the more you do something, the better you get at it, you start getting the groove and you can grind. So just know that, like the quality of your videos is probably gonna step up, but another obstacle to that of having a camera of this caliber is you need to know your settings. You need to know about ISO, you need to know about aperture, you need to know about exposure, you need to know about all of these things. Hint, hint, I did do a video on my making YouTube series. Uh, it was called What Camera I Use, and I just went in depth and I tried to break it down as simple as I could and get into aperture and exposure and things like that even s log and talking about those things because I shoot an s log 2 now and I color grade my videos afterwards so we talking about a whole nother level of video production and so forth and there's a lot more of a learning curve and there's a lot more obstacles when you start stepping into doing these type of things so Get to know your camera, get to know settings, get to know what it is you're doing and learn how to achieve the look that you're going for. Learn about LUTs and learn about uh, getting the cleanest and most effective, most creative shot that you can, how to accomplish that, how to frame your things, rule of thirds and so forth. Just learn, like do your research because if you're thinking, hey, I'm just going to go plop this X amount of dollars on the Sony a7 III, a7R III, or a7S III, which is coming, <laughs> and think that your uh, production value is just gonna go through the roof. Uh, you, you, you're tripping. You gotta put those hours in, you gotta put that work in, you gotta put that grind in. That's what makes you amazing. That's what makes you awesome. That's what makes what we create, what we create. So just that's just a fun, um, that's just a jewel. I just want to drop right there, you know what I mean? Like. Uh, a lot of these creators you see creating great things, that's years in the making. And uh, some people is natural for them too and you can pick up pretty quick. I'm pretty quick in this space and I love doing it and that's a part of it. So, you know what I mean? Just think about that. But at the end of the day, what are you waiting on? Go buy this damn camera right now because it's worth it. And another thing, whoa, 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 before we go any further, smash that like button. Smash that sub button. I'm on a journey to 10,000 subs this year. Hey man, if you wanna help me and smash that sub button and promote me and share me and help me get to 50,000 subs this year, I will accept that with open arms. <laughs> and if, you, if somehow I just like create the most awesome content I've ever created this year and I continue to do it and I'm consistent and my year just develops and we hit a ramp of pace, 100,000 subscribers could be possible by the end of this year you never know uh your growth is dependent on your grind sorry i keep messing with my hat i'm not used to wearing i haven't worn a hat in a while but you know my hair is looking a little but uh yeah 
I lost my train of thought. See, that's what happens. I'll be sitting here and I'll be yapping. I'll be doing this. I'll be doing that in my mind. And uh, it all goes. But at the end of the day, this is CJ Knows Tech. I love talking tech, sneakers, anything creative. Smash that like button. Smash that sub button. And come back for more Sony a7 III videos as well as, you know, uh, cell phones and blase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a lot more coming. Yeah.